Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Nine Mile Swamp. And uh, boy, we're, we're, we're really happy to be here tonight. If you remember last week, that was a bit of a uh, debacle. We had technical difficulties, but, uh, but we, got, we got it right now. So we're, gonna, we're back in the swamp and we're feeling good. This is a little instrumental piece while Cheryl's tuning in some of our uh, groups that are there. Hi, Mom. I just saw your name pop up. Okay. Yeah. So this week, Cheryl put out a little, uh, a little um, meme that uh, asked asked everybody what what guitars they would like me to use this week. So uh, <laughs> we got requests for almost every single one of them. <laughs> and and I, nice. I, I, can't, I can't I can't tune and play that many guitars. So um, what we're gonna do is I'm just I picked out two. And uh, this one, I, this one, I I, I played the, our last show. I used for the whole show, uh, but tonight we'll start off with this one uh, for Judy Stahl, who asked really nicely if, if I would play a little acoustic guitar. So of course yes. I'm happy to play the some Larabay, acoustic guitar. Of course. And um, yeah, so so here we are. This is a song called Darcy Farrow. It was written by Cheryl. Do you remember who the writers are? Yes, Steve St Gillette. And Steve Gillette. And Thomas E. Campbell. And Thomas E. Campbell. And this is one of Judy's favorites too. And uh, I learned this from the singing of Ian and Sylvia, and uh, I guess we're, we're I, so I guess we're doing it kind of like however it was that they did it. Uh, Darcy Farrell. <laughs> Fall. 
They sing a Darcy Farrell where the Chucky runs through. They sing of her beauty in Virginia City too. At dusty sundown, to her name they drink around, and to young Vandy, whose love was true. Where the walker runs down to the Carson Valley Plain, there lived a maiden, Darcy Farrow was her name, the daughter of old Dundee, and a fair one was she. The sweetest flower that blooms o'er the range. Show, would you tell them about uh, Joe's gig and Craig's gig? I'm going to really quickly just cut that thumbnail because it's going to be <laughs> okay. grabbing that string. Yeah, well, that's a good uh, idea. From now and forever. <laughs> sure. Yes, and we thoroughly, um, Joe Giglio, enjoyed your show this afternoon um, for folks folks who don't know, Joe Giglio is on Facebook and he puts on a wonderful performance every Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock um, from his Facebook page. So please check him out because it's well worth listening to. Um, and then our friend Craig Ellis has a show on Tuesday nights at 7 and you can find him not on Facebook but on streetjelly.com. Craig E, he goes by on Street Jelly. Craig Ellis, check out his show too. Okay, I'm back. And Kurt's coming back. And it, <laughs> um, and I just want to say hi. I saw John Walsh on here. I saw Blaze. Hi, Blaze. Good to see you. Um, and if you're watching, just drop us a line so we know that you are there. And hi, Joe. I know that you're on there too. And Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, Mom. Okay. But we'd, lo we'd love to hear from you, so drop us a line. Whether you're watching it live now or you tune in later, just let us know. Okay, I think I will use this guitar for the next Maybe I'll just log on to it, I can't see it. So I cut my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> so there will, be, there will be no more excuses. <laughs> Are you ready with your harmonica, darling? Still in these parts? Yeah. One, two, three, four.
wish we could sing together again Standing side by side Like we were still alone from for a while taught me some tricks about doing things like that but I just don't right. feel confident enough to take apart a harmonica trying to figure out and put it back together again. David yeah. Lax probably could teach me too. I'm no sure. doubt, no doubt. I, I remember I remember from the uh, night I spent playing in the studio with uh, John Sebastian that he has his harmonicas are tempered. They're especially tuned so they sound good and you know up and down. Uh, it's, it's, I guess piano tuners understand that, I don't. Uh, I hear my name? Hear my name? All right. I hear my name come spread through the trees. The night shines cold, I just can't sleep. The sky is clear, no clouds are still in view. So strange a thing, I can't see you.
And that shines cold I just can't sleep mm, The sky's clear No clouds to the view So strange a thing I can't see it This is a song that I uh, I co-wrote with Steve Friedman. And uh, who you played with in the Wamblers. Who I played with in the Wamblers, yeah. that's right, that's right, that's correct. <sighs> okay. Really mean. 
that song was a song written about December and running, running in the snow in December, and so it is December, and it just so happens that I have a poem called December. Um, so this is a poem by William Morris, and uh, it's from it's from uh, the Earthly Paradise. This is uh, this is one volume. The Earthly Paradise is four slim volumes in this edition, or it also appears in uh, I think think four four volumes in the Kelmscott edition and maybe uh, maybe two volumes in some other editions. But um, it's, a, it's really a, a book of mythological stories, but along the way, there are little monthly poems that are calendar poems, and, and they're just beautiful. Uh, they're sad. Um, this, this, is a, this is a poem that uh, really is autobiographical. Uh, William Morris from was very much in love with his wife Jane, who was considered a great beauty in the 19th century. And um, although they loved each other and um, they were partners throughout their life, um, Jane never really, really romantically was in love with, with Morris. It was, uh, for her, perhaps a marriage of convenience. And uh, she was in love with uh, Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Uh, Morris, being the decent fellow he was, recognized that and uh, took off for Iceland for a while and, and left them together in Kelmscott. And um, it, was a, it was a very sad time for him. Um, but one of the things he says, in this is, and that story, I mean, you don't need to know that story to appreciate the poem. Um, because what the poem says is that if you love something or someone, and, you know, if, if you love that person once and, and that love is sincere, um, you just don't throw it away. I mean, you try to not curse it. You try to think back on it with some kind of kindness because you never know. You know, you might it might be restored again sometime. But I think it's the idea of casting something you once loved away, not to do that. So it starts out with a, a description of uh, a quiet after a storm. A big storm is passed, and uh, it dropped a lot of snow, and now clouds are running past, and then it becomes really silent and. As the silence comes, uh, the New Year's bells ring. The bells ring um, for New Year's Eve, so it's the end of December. And, um, and they speak about kindness, and they speak about love, and they speak about um, being unloved. And, um, and they remind him that, about the New Year, and they remind him that you know, things can get better, and you should not throw away those things that you love. So that's, that's pretty much it. Now, the poem, December. Dead lonely night, and all streets quiet now. Thin o'er the moon, the hindmost cloud swims past of that great rack that brought us up the snow. On earth, strange shadows o'er the snow are cast. Pale stars, bright moon, swift cloud, make heaven so vast that earth left silent by the wind of night, seems shrunken neath the gray, unmeasured height. Ah. Through the hush, the looked-for midnight clangs, and then, e'en while its last stroke, solemn drone in the cold air by unlit windows hangs, out break the bells, above the year foredone. Change, kindness, Lost, love, left unloved alone, till their despairing sweetness makes thee deem thou once wert loved, if but amidst a dream. O thou, who clingest still to life and love, though naught of good, no God thou mayest discern, though naught that is thine utmost woe can move, Though no soul knows wherewith thine heart doth yearn, yet, since thy weary lips no curse can learn, cast no least thing thou lovest once away, since yet perchance thine eyes shall see the day. Mm. December. It's beautiful. Poem. Nice, yes. I love that poem. I really do. Mm. And uh, hey, we got running together. Um, yeah. Well, um, I just wanted to say hello to um, I see, see Albie and Janice. Uh, I see uh, here. Janice. I don't know what they're saying because I don't have my glasses on. But uh oh. 
okay, and, um, well, Janice is there, but she says we're here, so Albie's there too. And you could hear the bird, you could hear Perouche too. <laughs> Perouche, our parakeet, was joining in. You might be able to hear Brynhild snoring. She's over there on her <laughs> bed. John Martucci, hi, John. Good to see you. Patricia Williamson, thank you so much. Hi, Pat. And Joe said, great song. So, all running together first before blaming on me. Okay. I was ready for blaming on me because it's complicated with uh, three harmonicas, right, so I'm yeah. being all nervous. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'll put these on later. I believed in you when I was still lonely. I'm 
There's a spot on the horizon that I've just begun to see. And I'm going all alone. I will make it on my own. I got nothing to atone for. And there's nothing more to say. I'm sorry, but it's true that I must be leaving you. You're going to find someone to follow in another brighter day. It's not that I'm ungrateful for the time you spent with me. I'm gonna miss you in the days and in the cold nights in between. And someday I'll come back to you. Yeah, if you love me then, just place a guard around your heart. I'm gonna break it once again. And I'm going all alone. I will make it on my own. I got nothing to atone for. And there's nothing more to say. I'm sorry, but it's true that I must be leaving you. You're gonna find someone to follow in another brighter day. Then what can you say? You just can't see who can you make Make it all me. So this next tune is from our album, uh, Flaming June, and it's called I Like the Light. This is also on Catskill Dogs, which is sort of the best of CD.
going to finish up with a song called River of Stars. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for dropping us a line. We'll read them all later and respond to them. Here we are. so much for turning out tonight. It's nice to see you all in the Nine Mile Swamp. You can put your shoes back on. Or we'll not. see you next Sunday. We're glad you could join us. Thanks again for dropping us a line. And don't forget to check out Joe Giglio on Sundays, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Craig Ellis on streetjilly.com Tuesdays at 7. Oh, and Margie Zintz too. She's on Mondays in the early evening, late afternoon. Check her out. She's terrific. We're so grateful you could make it. Happy December. <laughs> <laughs>